set ourselves a New Year's resolution. Embrace and be kind to your workmates. <laughs> <laughs> you always are, you always are. But what if there was a simple way to achieve your goals in 2022? Well, yeah. according to wellness guru, Roxy Nafusi, it's possible to create the life you've always dreamed of through manifestation. Mm, yeah, from meeting your soulmate to finding your perfect job. Uh, she's, here to, she's here to explain how you can turn those desires into reality. Morning, Roxy, nice to see you. Morning. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for having me. This is... Uh, was definitely a vision board moment for me, so thank you. <laughs> so what's it like? Was the vision to see this book uh, manifest <laughs> seven steps to live in your best life? Was that on your vision board? So every New Year's Eve, I make a vision board with all the goals I want to manifest into my life that year. Wow. And I had written on it just this morning appearance. <gasps> and underneath I had written book, written and edited. And about three days before the end of the year, I got confirmation. And I thought, yes, this is it. Oh, nice. Rock, so well, here you are. You're on this morning. You're live. This is incredible. Tell us about this book and how we can change our lives and live our best lives to the fullest. Yeah, so... To manifest is essentially to um, use the power of your mind to change and create the reality you experience. And I think that a lot of people who may have heard about manifesting think it's really just about visualizing what you want and then waiting for it to happen. But manifestation is actually a really incredible self-development practice that incorporates neuroscience, quantum physics, um, philosophy, self-development, wisdom. And so what I did is I culminated everything I knew about manifesting. And I almost instinctively uh, put it into these seven steps that everybody could follow um, to really understand how to uh, effectively manifest anything they wanted into their lives. How does it... OK, explain how that works. OK, so if I could teach everybody listening sort of one fundamental thing about manifesting to start with, it would be that we manifest from our subconscious beliefs about what we deserve. So everything that we have in our lives, we can attract because from a place of self-love, essentially. And I think that that's why self-love is the, the greatest gift we could all offer ourselves. Um, and then from that place of self-love and self-worth, we can begin to um, change our energy, like how we feel and the energy we put out to the universe to attract abundance back into our lives. So, Roxy, if there's somebody out there and they're thinking, oh, I really want to attract the perfect job yeah, to myself, yeah, it's not just positive thinking. Could you give them some advice on how they could get that job? Absolutely. So, the first thing is to obviously be really clear in your vision. So, if you can, really decide what is the exact job, what's even the salary you want to be on, um, how do you want to feel in your role, what do you want to um, your relationship to be like with your colleagues. So, the first thing is really to gain that clarity on the job. Then you would start to, which is my step two, is remove fear and doubt. So, start to look at what fear you have around and your ability to get that job that you want because your fear and doubt is your block. It's what's blocking you to having what you want. And then, of course, you have to take action. So you have to be proactive, put yourself out there, um, you know, really go and ask people, will you have me, you know, go for the interviews. And um, it really is about being proactive and taking action as well. And... Uh, Roxy, obviously, I mean, I mean, there's no substitute for, for hard work and getting out there and, 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 uh, and getting the experience you need to get the job you want, for example, if we're looking at that. But obviously, this can't be sort of um, masked in, in, in projection. You know, I, I've been reading a lot about the idea of, of your happiness being uh, equated to how you, you project something. So if, if I don't get something, therefore, 
it, it, it means I'm not going to be happy. I mean, then that's kind of a dangerous path to go down. So how, how do you kind of square that circle? Because that's, that's important as well, right? People just can't be at home going, well, I want to manifest that I get my ideal job and I make half a million pounds a year. But that it doesn't work like that. 100%. I think that's really the... It's kind of the problem with it becoming such a trend. And, you know, on TikTok, it's a bit of a sensation. And it is this idea that, oh, if I think about it, it will happen. But it's not passive. It's about hard work, effort, stepping outside your comfort zone, um, being able to be resilient if something doesn't go your way, having gratitude for all that you have. There's so much involved. And that's why it's such a full practice. And really, in the book, I talk about all of that. Roxy, what's interesting about you is that we haven't got an awful lot of time, but you, when you were 27, you sort of hit rock bottom. So this is kind of, you know, and you had some addiction problems. So this is, is in many ways, is, is your part of your rehabilitation, right? 100%. I really hated my 20s. I was so miserable. I had no self-worth, no career of any kind, no purpose, you know, in the grip of addiction. And someone told me, you know, have you heard about the thing called manifesting? And I thought, you know what, I've got, I'll try anything at this point. So I listened to a podcast on manifesting and started, you know, applying the practices. And within two weeks, uh, actually Wade, uh, my partner, I met him on, uh, he messaged me on an app and a year to the day from him messaging me, our baby boy Wolf was born. So it really has changed my life in That's every incredible. way. Sounds like he did a pretty good job manifesting as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, Roxy, some people have got in contact. Can we quickly just read this one? Rose wants to know, can I manifest myself out of an anxious mindset? I sometimes feel anxious and negative for no reason. Is there a way to manifest more positivity and less needless worry? Mm, such a good question. I'm sure so many people will relate to that. Uh, one of the steps in my book is to embrace gratitude. And I think that it's a really great sort of antidote for anxiety because anxiety is often about what's coming, worries about the future. And gratitude really takes you back to the present moment. You know, manifesting isn't just about the things that we want in the future. It's actually also about being entirely grateful for what we have now. And um, I find that that really helps you to adopt a more positive mindset. It rewires your brain to be happier. So yeah, absolutely. You can use manifesting from that point of view to help. Uh, next one's from Penny. Um, can you overthink manifesting? I've been manifesting for about three years, but sometimes I wonder if I'm doing it wrong. Can you project something and fixate on it too much as the opposite effect and doesn't work out? How can I know I'm manifesting correctly? Oh, absolutely. So when we think about manifesting, a lot of people um, assume that it's about control and controlling your future. But actually, a big part of manifesting is about surrender. It's about trusting that you don't know how, you just know that it will work out. And I think that when you're thinking so much about what you want and what you want to manifest, you're also then thinking a lot about not having it. And when you're in that kind of energy of not having something, you're going to attract more lack to you. So actually, manifesting is marvelous in the way that you kind of go, OK, this is what I want, but now I'm going to focus on embodying the best version of myself today and trust that that will take me to that goal. And I suppose you can do that with your love life as well. You can Hello. be clear on what you want and then you Hello. just love yourself to the point where someone else <laughs> loves you. Is that right, Roxy? 100%. It is, you know, it's a cliche, but it is true. If you want true love in your life, start with the love for yourself because you will attract into your life um, the way somebody that will treat you the way you feel about yourself. So, yeah, you know, we come back to self love every time. It all starts there. Roxy, well, thanks so much. Uh, manifest. You're about to get the ham and sell. It, let me tell you, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, if we could, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. There it goes. Uh, seven Steps to Living Your Best Life is out on Thursday, available for pre-order now at Amazon and Waterstones. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much, Roxy. It's Alison Hammond for making it a bestseller. <laughs> uh, thanks, Roxy. Good to have you with us. Lots of love, Roxy. <laughs> thank you. Beautiful house. Did you nice see the house? house. Couldn't stop looking at it. Thank you, Roxy.